Welcome back to MAGFAST 2021. If you're just joining us, we are raising money for Child's Play, which is a wonderful organization dedicated to providing entertainment and therapeutic gaming to children in uh, hospitals, uh, domestic violence shelters, other bad situations made easier through gaming. Uh, right now we are running the Demon Souls remake uh, with Birdo, please. Birdo, uh, if you want to take it away. Thank you. I am Berto, please. Uh, if, you, if I sound familiar to you, I was just on the last run for Dark, uh, Dark Souls with Carl. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm running Demon Souls Remake. Uh, came out for January, three months ago, almost, or just over three months ago. Uh, so it actually hasn't, to my knowledge, hasn't been run at a marathon, really. This will be the first. World first. You guys excited to be making history? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm going... Oops. My bed. Okay, my mic. I'm going to be running the 1.0 speedrun of it, which isn't the most popular at the moment, as most people like to do the current patch or like the glitch list. It's, it's kind of varying a little bit, you know, since it is a new run, people are kind of varying what they're messing with. But yeah, I'll be running 1.0. Uh, it'll have a lot of glitches that you can't really do anymore because we are being hit, unfortunately, by the blue point patch, which is understandable, but also a little bit sad. Yeah, so it's going to name my character. Uh, we start with Magician class. Uh, magic in this game is really overpowered, so it would just be a very cool tool to just get things out of the way really fast. A lot of bosses get two or three shot in this game. Is When you're in the end game, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, yeah, we're going to start with Fire Realms to, kit, to kill one of the first bosses as fast as possible, too, since we start out a little bit weaker compared to later. Um, but yeah, so I will say to start in a couple of seconds. Right, so we're gonna skip tutorial just for you know there's actually no category that's tutorial at the moment so just as soon as i had no we'll start but let me count down with five four three two one yep low run i maybe get some more <laughs> yeah so if you were to do the tutorial you were actually die in it because you are supposed to die in lore um, you're actually trapped in this nexus and this land until you defeat all the demons in it, all the arch demons in it. But yeah, we start at the nexus. We quickly go over to one one, and we're gonna get to this level first. Um, a fairly simple level. It's a little bit long, and it can go a little bit weird. Like it can just have a lot of enemies hit you. It won't necessarily kill you right away or anything. Means you should be able to be fine for a little, but. It is a little bit funky to get an optimal time in this one. It's a lot of enemies can just ambush you out of nowhere. We are first going to get another set of firebombs here. Uh, we're going to have 10 total. Uh, actually, fun fact, the starting gift was added to this game. It, was, it wasn't an originally a starting gift in the original Demon Souls and was added later. Um, I assume as a homage to these later games, Dark Souls, Bloodborne. But yeah, now because of that, we have 10 bombs. We could get more if we wanted to. There's like a stack of six in the another part of the level but it's not really worth it to get it we will get another item later but for now it's okay we're just gonna run by two enemies uh i'm going to show a small skip here if i can pull it off it's a little bit wonky to do at least for me this is the first little skip you can do but it's just abusing iframes it's nothing too impressive there you go let's roll over that boulder i actually found that easier in the original because you can it's not really time or anything ow actually hurt a lot for this level. I'm gonna jump down here, roll through these barrels so I don't get exploded. And then I'm gonna make a way up here to the next fog gate. That's gonna be gives us a lot of time to do some menuing. Have our equipment in the right spot for later. We're gonna hit this little boulder trap you can right here to get the enemies out of the way right there. But as we do that, we're gonna switch out our items. We're gonna put our one our other on off hand or still left hand. Then just gonna put on the Nexus binding, which is something that lets you go back to the arch uh Nexus. Which is kind of like a homeward bone, although you or like a dark sign rather in Dark Souls. Hopefully I paid attention to the last run because I'm definitely going to reference Dark Souls a lot. <laughs> As generally speaking, Dark Souls are more popular than the two, or demons. Or at least it was until, um... Oh, I just realized I didn't heal. Uh, hold on, let me... I'm going to... Do this real quick. 
Or maybe I could, um... One. That's, like, that's good, actually. Oh, no, we're not. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> maybe I should have done is, uh, use... In this game, if you actually quit out the same time, uh, or like after you die, like if you leave your menu up and then die, it actually doesn't force close the game for some reason, or like the menu, it just stays up and you can actually um, just re like reverse your death and it'll put you at full health. It's kind of weird actually how it works, but um, it's really useful if you're if you know you're about to die, but you actually have to have your menu up when before that happens. So maybe should than that. I got turned around because I was like facing the wrong way, <laughs> which makes sense because I was just um, I think I was running backwards on it. Yeah, so what I, what I should have done there is actually use a heal when I was re equipping my items, but I guess I forgot because I was talking with uh, about the boulders or showing how the boulders kill the enemies. Ray tracing? I I'm not sure if this game has ray tracing actually. The the only difference, the, the only big thing that's like pretty revolutionary for this game, I feel in some ways, for console at least, is that you can actually switch between 1080, 1080, 60, and 4K 30 FPS, which is pretty neat. Um, I don't know that many people who would prefer the 4K, even if they have like a monitor or TV for it, but. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. So it's just like a little customization. Like if you don't mind having 30. Funnily enough though, you actually do use the, the cinematic mode, which is the 30 FPS 4K for some skips. It just loads the areas differently and stuff. It's weird. Make sure to point that out when you get there. Let's do this one more time. So what I should have done here is uh, hit those and then heal. And then do that. Because that, you know, as I do the heal animation. Yeah, so now we should be okay. Actually, didn't realize I had like half health and I was already halfway through the bitch, so. It's alright. Let's go. Let me know when we're good for some donations. Um, you can do one quick one here if you'd like. Can you. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can do a couple now. Yeah, $5 from Coop says, I believe dirty can't stop you. And then, of course, we have the $50 from Carl Germ. Five deaths <laughs> times $10 for the kids. Thanks so much for raising money for such a great cause. Go faster than I did, Birdo. <laughs> <laughs> about the that. Nightmare King Grim Fight for Ninny's Hollow Knight run. Nice. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Coop. Yeah, uh, the, br the bridge, dying there at the bridge is not that surprising. It is a little disappointing because I just died there as well, but it happens sometimes. But yeah. yeah I'll, I'll make sure to focus in the next. Yeah, so that, that that bridge though, like that is probably the most dangerous part of this area to, to actually kill you. Like even though enemies can ambush you here, they're usually not too bad. But that that bridge is definitely a run killer. I don't die too often, but we are. <laughs> Got him out. Yeah, the game was definitely like they they want to to update some of the things for it to be more quality of life for these standards today's standards. But they definitely still kept a lot of things that are really neat for the original. Like you can actually have a filter that has like a more close to the original. The camera you can set to a few different things. Like there's one that's a little bit more like today's standards, which is over the shoulder. But the one I'm using now is more like the classic camera, more or less. Oh, hit right there. Okay, at least I haven't used any like major resources, only the healing. That's not really that big a deal. <laughs> I actually don't know if we can do God Arrow on this one. But I dubbed the God Arrow, which one which one of the one of the archer bolts hits the the boulder door. I haven't had it yet. I don't know if it's possible. No, okay. Let me focus real quick. Okay, much better. All right, there we go. Fine. Oof. Then we have the loud dragon here. 
That drone is actually way louder than it should be because I have my sound effects settings pretty low. But since I'm playing the 1.0 version and it's kind of obvious sometimes that they shipped this game before it was completely ready with some touch-ups, you know? Um, I'll actually show a very weird like oversight or whatever it might be. I'm not sure if it's an oversight or not, but it feels like an oversight. Or maybe something I forgot to take out. Um, that's exclusive to 1.0 as far as I know. It's really strange. Yeah, this game is definitely... You can definitely tell that the devs kind of relied on the day one patch to fix all of the last minute bugs. Oh, the god arrow? Yeah, it's definitely like a meme from my channel and a few, <laughs> a few others that I've gotten. It's funny. Because yeah, in the original, the the bolt from the archer before we get the fog gate for the little enemy line. They can just hit it and you don't have to hit it yourself. Great. Yeah, so now we're just going to chuck all our firearms at Phalanx. We're going to clear out these enemies. Make it easier to hit the actual boss. Because if you don't clear him out, uh, not only do they block the boss itself, they actually regen the boss. They heal the boss. Which is funnily enough something that a lot of people don't know, I've realized. Just from what they're saying. like I did like a ball run at one point. I had to like kill all of them and I just talked about how it heals. And people are like, wait, it heals? Yeah, so it's done now. Just gotta toss a lot of fire. The boss is definitely weak to fire. And he's gone. PK fire! And then, um... It's back to Nexus. Now we gotta go talk to the Monumental. Oh, the first we're gonna get a dagger. And use this uh, souls into Fresh Spice, which is the, um... The mana regen item in this. And as we go up... We're gonna equip a dagger. Quick. Thankfully, the menuing in this game is a lot faster than the original. The original had like the worst menu delay in the series, bar none. It took like a solid half second or three quarters of a second for you to be able to like move to have to hit one button for the menu. Awful. And like the only thing I actually disliked about it. Yeah, here's the monumental. We're gonna talk to him, but we're gonna skip dialogue, obviously. Um, and before I go back, I'm gonna pick up this safety item here. Don't know if I'm That's our basically our humanity for this game. Except that it um unlike Dark Souls, it actually regens your health. Cause like you saw in the beginning of the of the game, we were at half health. Now we're full. So that item, if we end up dying at any point, uh, in a point we shouldn't be, we can regen our health back. Yeah, now we're going to full uh, uh Tower Latria, Prison of Hope, and fighting the Fool's Idol. One of our favorite areas. But we're going to skip all of it, <laughs> pretty much. We're actually going to do a, a, one of the first little skips that's exclusive to the remake. A lot of them are actually exclusive to the remake to some degree, but we're going to quit out here. And then once we load back in, we're going to notice something weird about some object in this game. Or how the areas load. They actually don't have any collision for a couple seconds. So we can actually like sometimes like clip into them and just get on top of them. Because the way the object loads its collision, it just like boosts you up for some reason. So, there you go. <laughs> we got some Old Spice, or how it's called, it's this one, H Spice. But the original Demons was actually called Old Spice, so it's hilarious. It is a mana regen item as well, but it's bigger. Ooh, okay, missed that. I, I could tell I was going to miss it, but yeah. Be safe, let me go turn this off. So yeah, what do you want to do there uh, is roll through the... These, this, this is like a little arrow trap. So you want to roll through the arrows, and if you're fishing, you can actually pick up this ring as you're on it, the clever rat's ring. And but actually, I think my sound was a little bit off, so I didn't get it. But it's fine. You can just turn it off. And uh, wait, well, I was gonna equip it, but I don't usually do it there. The buy rat ring. Okay. Yeah, so the rat ring is actually very important for the run. Uh, pretty much any like optimal run will have it, regardless of the route. It boosts your damage at 30% HP. It like doubles it, I think, more or less. Um, very powerful. Let's stack with magic and maybe even an item later. It, it makes a lot of bosses a joke. Like even outside of the magic already being OP. So let's equip it now. This one I usually equip it. Uh, we need to kill this enemy coming up right here because he will actually revive the boss. If you just go into the boss fight without killing him, uh, the boss will just revive indefinitely until you kill him. So, to avoid that, obviously, you gotta go kill him. We got that key right there because we're gonna free someone later. 
But yeah, now we got... Oh, uh, quitting out there actually puts you outside of it because that's technically the boss room. That's really handy. Uh, let me check my HP real quick. Yeah, we're good. Make sure this fall isn't gonna kill me. Really close, but... Uh... Alright, just switch out for that archer. She becomes invisible, so it's hard to tell. Let's... Okay. And now we got... The first boss? Or the second boss after the, the, the one? Fool's Idol. We're actually gonna do something really funny here. Watch. So, yeah, we're kind of just trivializing her by stun locking her death. It's uh, pretty funny. Bullsado gets the shorter than the stick in all experience, pretty much, like once you know what to do. So, basically, all you do is stun lock her with um, the dagger, just like the fast R ones, and with the clever rat and the fire buff stacked together, you can go down in like a single stamina bar almost. Easy enough. <laughs> you get the point, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't. Okay, so now we're going back real quick. We're going to use our levels because we're going to throw away our souls after this. So we got to get our a good chunk of them used up. So we're going to level to 24 magic. Wait, not 20, 24. There you go. Did it. And now we're going to do something... I actually discovered a little bit. Uh, not, not the skip itself, but like a setup for the skip. If you warp to the next level that we should be going to and then back into the first one, you actually get more leeway to do the skip. Um... Which was already found, but it was really hard at 1.0. Like, the collision for, uh, for objects reloads really fast. Yeah, here. Behold. We're gonna quit out here. We actually got boosted a little bit. Going to readjust. And we're gonna hit a barrel here. There you go. That barrel's actually gonna boost us all the way to the ceiling of this area. And there we go. We're now on top of the Prison of Hope. <laughs> uh, I don't, I couldn't exactly tell you the all the ins and outs of it, but yeah, it just puts you on top of the area because of the collision things I'll explain you earlier. And here's the funny thing I was talking about for 1.0. There's no, uh, there's just an invisible floor at the fourth floor of this area <laughs> in 1.0. So we're gonna abuse that to get this item, this ring. It's gonna help us further on. We're gonna use this chance to equip some stuff and unequip some others. But yeah, so it, basically all you want to do in this skip is boost yourself to the top floor of the level to skip having to get a bunch of keys and going all the way around. It's very handy. Okay, didn't mean to talk to him. But. And we're gonna free this guy. He's gonna have all the OP spells that are gonna help us a lot for the rest of the run. He's free now. Got to work back. We throw away our souls, so I said we need to use the souls earlier. And then. We go talk to him to get one for now. We'll come back for him for one more later. Soul Ray. Take off Flame Toss and then equip Soul Ray and we're good. Now we can go back to the next area after Fools. Yeah, this is another good little spot for donations now. Uh, I'll say two or three. Uh, we have $10 from Gamero says. Uh, thank you again for another donation. Uh, he says, got to donate for this world record holding mad lad. Put this toward the Dirty Colossus and Storm King behaving incentive. <laughs> Good luck on the run, Birdo. Do much speed. Yes, please. Those, those bosses were memeing on me a lot yesterday. It was awful. We also have $50 from Anonymous. Thank you. It's sad we can't do MAGFAST live this year, but I'm happy to donate. Thanks for the fun runs this weekend. Thank you, Gamer on Anonymous. Okay, so we're coming up to another skip. This skip has been um, a little bit infamous because it's the first one that Blue Point actually went out of the way to, to patch in the 1.02, no, 1.03 patch. They tried to patch it. So the very original method of the skip to skip this heart, you actually have to go to the entire level to drop that heart down. But instead we can actually just kind of go around. <laughs> kind of funny actually. So this has been gone for ages now. Uh, there's a few backup skips that were found not too long after it was patched by a couple people. So they haven't gotten rid of it yet. 
but once they do, uh, the, the the current patch experience is gonna drop down for like five, six minutes. It's a little bit sad. Um, we're gonna use this enemy to set up HP, but let me go through, please. Oh, okay, sure. Be like. <laughs> okay, so we want to take a counter hit, which we'll do by uh, running as he attacks us. That will set up to clever rat ring range for the next boss. Um, ideally, I want to get past them so I can just be ready to run, but he was kind of blocking me there. <laughs> But yeah, after this heart skip though, uh, one of the walls for a lot of people is coming up now. The Man Eater, one of one of the infamous bosses of this speedrun, or just in general, casual play was even included. Oh, actually, I forgot to menu there. There you go. But yeah, all we're gonna do really is gonna spam Soul Ray. It's gonna be a little bit more calculated than just spam, but I'm gonna try to. Have him be a little bit spaced out from us so he doesn't dive at us while we're attacking. Oh, okay, just do that, sure. Oh, oops. I thought I was a little farther away than that. I guess I should figure knocks out of the wall, but <laughs> not too good. Maybe for fun, let me show you the other way you can do the skip. The 1.03 version, which is patched kind of, but they did kind of a bad job of patching it, so you can actually kind of still do it, just a little bit harder. Yeah, let me first uh, run Clever Rat again. Please don't do anything to me. Oh, that's mean. Really? Okay, one small one. Thank you. Alright, let me show the other version just for funsies. Yeah, calculate for Glitch Expo. Clearly. Just like Carl. I'll, I'll just I'll just die on purpose to show show off what not to do. <laughs> and other things. Okay, so in this method you actually go this way instead. Um, and then what you want to do is stand pretty close to this. It's a little hard in one point because of what I was saying earlier, how you have to, um... You have a lot less time to do your setup. We're gonna switch to cinematic mode, the 4K 30 FPS thing, and then quickly try to get inside this little, uh... Ah! Okay, almost got it. Went a little too far. I think I underestimated how, how, how much leeway I had there. So we're gonna get boosted here and then just whoop. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how people did it in 1.03. 1 1.04, the current patch is similar. Um, they definitely try to add an invisible wall of some sort there, but it's still not good enough, and you can kind of still do it almost exactly the same way. Unfortunately, some of the patches did get nuked, and we can't really find another way around them. So 1.03, I'm pretty sure it was the fastest version of this speedrun, and it's it's dead. Forever. I don't know, maybe not, but it is what it is. Okay, let me just switch back to this performance because 30 FPS hurts a little bit after you get used to 60. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to play a little safer here now since I did lose time here. Please don't dive at me. Okay. Restore some mana before we keep going. I'm gonna hit the tail here so you can just stun for a second as the second one comes. Cool. Yeah, so there's two of these. I, I might have tricked you into believing there's only one by saying man eater, but <laughs> there's actually two. So that's why a lot of people struggle with this boss. Um, it's already a little bit of a difficult boss as is. And then introducing another to the mix is very rough for a lot of people. Especially if this is your first Souls game, as it is for a lot of people. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the only, like, multi-enemy boss in this game. So it just results in uh, mayhem and panic. Okay, but we got it now. Cool. I'm usually look at that boss, but, you know, I did get a little bit... I miscalculated, I guess, for the beginning. <laughs> We're gonna, we picked up a short sword there. It's a more powerful 
version of the sword we already had. And then some full grass to heal any point. We're going to reload this air to have pure white world tendency. Um, short version of what pure white tendency is. It makes enemies and bosses weaker, but it gives less souls. Um, it, it raises every time we kill a boss. Um, so that's going to make this run up a little bit easier. And we did die that to actually both get lower HP and also to actually make it go into effect. But because so for some reason, even if, even if we reload the area there, the tendency doesn't really apply unless you die. At least I found. A little bit weird. Am I using the wrong sword? I might be. I'm not. What? No, stop. He's behaving. Ooh, it was close. Okay. okay, I feel like my damage is a little off there, but... We're okay. Wait, am I not in? Oh no, it's because I died! Yeah, right, right, yeah, because I died. Your tennis actually does, goes down if you die, so that's... That's why, actually. That explains... That's okay, at least I have the ring as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, if I ever die to my I usually just reset at that point, so I'm, I was not used to the, uh, not having, uh, white. That's fine. It's not pure white, but I think it is white, at least, so it should help a little bit. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah. More XP, okay. So we're gonna try to do something similar to this ball, just kind of hit it with magic. I'm gonna be careful though, cause um, you can actually cast his own magic too without even having to physically cast it. That's a little risky, especially if you're hitting him with this kind of spell, which makes him all blue entirely. There you go. Oh wow, that was really, it was really nice there, like getting stuck in that chair. <laughs> cool. So we, we kind of try to stun lock him. We try to bait him into knocking chairs away so he can just not roll or, or magic. And yeah, he kind of got stuck there because he couldn't break the chair, so he just kept trying. <laughs> yeah, that could have been even better if we had pure tendency, but we did not. That's okay. okay. Now, 25 intelligence and 32 magic. Magic is going to be our damage. Intelligence is going to be our mana and attunement slots, so we can get more spells with this. So now we can get homing soul arrow and equip it. And that is the bread and butter of this run now. Homie Soul Arrow, Soul Ray, Homie Soul Arrow, Soul Ray, that combo is very powerful. Yeah, now we're going to Battle Defilement. Because we need to get a ring that's very essential to run. Let me put on clothes. I, I took off clothes earlier to have um, the enemies set me up in Clever Rat Ring a little faster. And I just take any chance I get to reapply them. A little bit more defense. Um, I actually had to practice skip earlier because it's been memeing on me a little bit. There's a small skip here. Uh, I'm not sure that did it. Hope so. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so I assume what happens there is that the slope there actually delays our, our uh, death, but it still saves our position. So if you actually quit out, like before you actually die, It'll actually put you there. Well, actually, even if you were to die, it probably will still work because, how I said earlier, have you quit out after you died because the menu's still up? You know, it, it's still... What? Okay. That way. Um, but yeah, so even if you actually do physically die, if you have your menu up, uh, you can actually just revert that death. So even if I did die there, I might have. It'd be okay. Okay, that got me use. Right, so that okay so we're back here now at a boss leech manga this is gonna be a pretty good display of how powerful this uh this combo is i'm saw arrow full ray i'm soul arrow full ray done not even clever rod by the way <laughs> this is all just my magic we're gonna reset the arrow to restore our hp and our mana And then, yeah, so small little skip here, with the, which is a little bit more parkour than anything. There's no, there's no actual bugs here. It's just kind of parkouring with the geometry that exists in the game. We're going to drop down. 
So we're gonna drop down to this little lip of rock here. Uh, not that far. Oh, so these were this. Okay. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do this. Oop. Then we're gonna go around here, and then jump down. Yeah, cool little parkour. Doesn't require any bugs, just cool stuff. Um, I think we have time for like one donation here for next event. I don't have any new donations, but I will say uh, it's still during this run up until the point of no return, you can vote in that bid war for whether we're going to see the good end or the bad end of this game. Mm -hmm. So get the donations in. Indeed. I usually see the bad ending, so I, I would personally like to see the good one, but you know, I, I, whatever you guys want. I don't mind either way. Yeah, so now we're gonna we're gonna be careful with this red phantom. Oh, okay, great. Shrek saw us. Sure, she wants to have a swamp. Oh, she got stuck. Okay, cool. Oh, when? Uh, 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 please, bear me. Okay, we should be okay. Be a little close there. I found that she's okay to deal with in this version. It's a little. I find a little harder in the other one. You get stuck more, I think. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Everyone voting bad. Fantastic. That's fine. You guys do whatever you like. I don't mind. Okay. We're, we picked up the Thief Ring and we kept it right away here because um, it'll be helpful right away because there's a lot of enemies in like that segment over there. If you see that barricade, like past that. There's a lot of enemies that can kill you. Um, I'm going to take a safe, safer route, which actually might be around as fast as it is to go the old way. I'm going to abuse the skip that's actually exclusive to 1.0. Uh, like, besides the invisible floor that I, that I was talking about earlier, uh, this might be the only skip that was actually, like, exclusive to the pre-release version of the game. So we're going to go this way, and we're actually going to just phase through one of these barricades. You can actually do it with like the other one too, this one over there. You can just face through them if you go into cinematic mode and quit out. Pretty great. And I I like it because it makes this segment a lot safer. Though not 100% safe, uh, foolproof, but it's pretty good. Yeah, let's go the settings, perform, or uh, cinematic, back in. Now we're just gonna walk right through this wooden barricade. And then I'm going to have the heal ready for my poison, because I'm poisoned. This is a poison swamp. Go back to performance. Hope these enemies don't mess with me. It has an aggro to me. Okay, cool. Now this boss is one of the ones that uh, <laughs> Gamer was petitioning to have him behave. I hope he agrees too. I did practice him before this, so you know, hopefully it's okay, but... I think that should be okay. That's not the ideal move, but... Oh! Good thing he went over my head! That's spooky. Don't... Okay. God, why do you gotta do that? 30. 30 Punako. I'm gonna refresh some spice here and then heal up a tad. Because I do need to have a little bit... Higher HP for what's coming up. Oh, that's so I should switch out this into the Lotus, the Widow's Lotus. For this next boss, which is a little bit difficult, a little bit timed, a little bit tight of a window to do it. Uh, I find that it's actually easier in the current patches. I think they actually nerfed this boss if you fight him this way. Because there's a trophy tied to kill on her this way. But I think the 1.0 didn't really do that, so I find that this is a lot harder. But yeah, so... We're sadly going to kill this somewhat innocent lady. We're going to just run by her knight that's protecting her and just go straight through and kill her. And we're going to take her soul, use it for our own gain. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a very sad moment in the game, in the actual playthrough, but... Because we're speedrunning, we don't got time to dwell on the, on the tragedies of every character. Yeah, we're gonna do our last little leveling. I'm gonna level a little bit of HP, which is a little bit of a safety strat, but it actually kind of works out. It's not really a time loss, I feel. 
And then we're next up gonna go to Stonefang Tunnel next. Oh no! So anyway, yeah, more or less. So Stonefang is it's gone left and right in this speedrun because a skiff for the next boss was found. And I think it's technically possible in 1.0, but it's very different. So I haven't really been able to do it, and no one's really found a way to... You know, people who are more versed in glitch hunting haven't really gone out of the way to like try to find a 1.0 version of this skip. So I actually have to fight the next boss, the spider, armor spider. But that can show off a few skips. Actually, if we, we cut it early today, I might be able to show the current patch version of this skip. I would just like upgrade my my game as we uh, go. I can also I can show two things. I can show this little warp you can do here if you just land on top of this lever. This door is closed right here, but if you drop down here at a specific spot, you can actually warp up because you don't actually touch the floor. You're just on top of the lever, which doesn't count as a floor. I think I did it there. It should be okay. Uh, yep. So there's a lever, and we're still back up here. So a little warp. Uh, and then here I'm going to show another skip, which is what I leveled HP for. That's the only reason I did, because this feels a little inconsistent at the low HP. You can do it with like base HP, but it's more dangerous. Yeah, so I'm going to try to skip this lava with a Waterville skip, with a Waterville spell. Okay. Whew. So yeah, um, you can actually do that in the original, which makes it interesting because that makes me think that they know about it, but they decided not to patch it. Which is not the only skip that's that's been a thing for. It's pretty neat. So because of that, we're actually allowing it in the, in the glitches speedrun. Hopefully, it stays that way. Be careful when they get hit by that guy. And then yeah, we're okay. So, but that the tick of fire damage is very inconsistent. I found. So I usually level a little bit of HP. I want to be safe. But yeah, so now we made it past that. We we did skip like half the level, I want to say, or maybe a little more than that. By doing that skip. And as long as they don't die, we should be okay. I'm going to pick up this item here, the Chris Blade, which is another boosting item for magic attacks. Magic damage overall. Um, if you skip the spider boss and all that, you don't really get it, but... You usually level more into magic, but because of that, like, you usually have like 47, I want to say. 47 magic but my crystal blade actually makes up for like two of those levels or so so we can get those levels for that so be careful now with this i think we can survive like a thing or two from this but just ideally we don't and one shot this is an early game boss by the way <laughs> but i mean that also goes, it's, it's both showing how early this game boss is and also like how strong your magic and all that is because this is our this is our levels, by the way. We're done with leveling. The rest of the game is going to be done, more or less. Now we're going to do something similar to the slope quit I did earlier, but with a cat ring, which is what I got earlier. Uh, this kind of delays our death as well in the same way that the slope did. So, cat ring is very really nice. It's kind of like fall control, like Carl showed earlier for the Dark Souls. It had a really cute uh, design on like on, on, under my stamina bar. It used to have a really cute design in the original game, but fortunately they took it out for the actual ring. But they actually have like a reference in the credits. I, I guess I can show that maybe after this. I can point it out. Yeah, now Flame Lurker, one of the other really hard bosses of this run. Um, maybe it should have been a little safer, but yeah, it was fine. Square Cat. Should be good? Okay, cool. So yeah, that, that's on the hard boss in like Clash of Playthroughs and like the melee run. Really hard boss, but it's not too bad for magic as long as you're safe if you're in Clever at range. Now we're gonna go back to cinematic mode to skip some stuff again. 
We're gonna face the witch pillars. And load back in. So yeah, cinematic mode actually delays a lot of this these pillars loading in properly. Oh, uh, I got a little stuck there. It's awkward. I hope that's okay. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't. That's okay. <laughs> Trying to touch that little lip of the of the wall there. That's alright. Uh, this is actually an arch demon. So made in a strat earlier. Uh, oh, whoops. I need a corp there, since I didn't touch the arch stone. Made us try earlier, and... Old Monk are both arch demons, which means that the run up to their boss is pretty small compared to the rest of the game. It's kind of like a small little challenge, just like the boss. They're usually very unique bosses. So Dragon God's supposed to be like a stealth boss, really. Um, but because we just face through crap, it just... It, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. For the most part. I think I just kind of got a caught in the wall there and didn't work. Yeah, we're still in cinematic, so let's just put it out and reload. I'm not sure it was passionate, actually. It's not. Okay, now it should be okay. We a little bit of stamina. Now we should be good. I'm gonna roll just in case. Pretty Gucci. Oh, he almost got me there. Like the performance. And now we're gonna do the rest of the boss properly. There's a small escape you can do where you like drop down to that area on the, on the right to me. The original, but I'm pretty sure you can't do it anymore. That's fine. I mean, we got a better skip. Via cinematic mode. In the remake. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're all good. This, this fight's fairly scripted once you get it done. Okay, so yeah, the boss, the boss just involves like hitting those ballistas to take out most of his health and then you just gotta finish him off. It's a, it's, I don't like to call bosses, or I don't like to use gimmick boss as a der derogatory term for like these kind of things, especially this game, but this is definitely like the worst in the game. It's supposed to be a stealth boss, it's just kind of... Eh. Especially because it's like the poster child of the game. You're supposed to like look forward to this amazing dragon fight and it just turns out to be like a Metal Gear fight. Now Shadow Storms is a little bit risky here in the beginning. Um, these skeletons can definitely overwhelm me really quickly so let's just hope they behave. They've been okay lately for me. Oh, no. oh okay. I see Mook Kenda's version actually. I'm gonna quit out here regardless just to save time. Or just to be safe rather. Thankfully quitting out in this remake, the, the low screens are very quick as you've probably seen compared to a lot of the other console games. So reloading for safety even in a marathon is not that bad. Okay, this is one of the skips that was in the original that was just kept. And it actually, I'm pretty sure the devs knew about it, post-release, but they decided to keep it in. Just because they thought it was a cool little thing that the community discovered, so they decided to keep it. This, however, this next thing is definitely new. So we're going to try to, like, go up this little... Oh, there we go. <laughs> this little, like, rubble pillar wall thing. Drop down here. This is a little bit deeper into the level. And then this is out of bounds right here. And we're gonna quit out to not die. Kind of like that, but I didn't get where I need to be. Okay, I'll do it one more time because I didn't count. Yeah, so quitting out here will actually make the out of bounds not kill you. So I'll do one quit out here once you get here, and then you can just jump down here. Then we gotta quit catering and do one more of the catering. Uh, it's off. The angle's off. You can soft lock if you do this wrong, so I'm gonna be very careful. That should be good. Yeah, we're gonna do an. Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, that should be. That was good. Did I not wait long enough after the quit out to? Mm. <laughs> I'm very confused right now. Okay, let's just get back there. It's all good. We actually skipped two bosses here. This is the biggest skip in the run, I feel. Uh, which was definitely patched at this point. But, um... Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. If I, if I died not to go through some bosses, that'd be better. Or worse, rather, but... It's alright. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I, I think maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Or something. After having attempted to skip to, uh... The, the angle looked good. Ow, please don't do that again. Mm. Yeah, so I messed it up again, but it's okay. As long as I don't get sniped by the mana rays. Ah! Messed it up again, that's okay. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Go ahead one more time because you actually need to still. Didn't do it. Okay, we're back here now. Um, I do have cat ring. Yes, I do. Okay. That's not okay. I almost fell on the wrong thing. Hope I didn't land on there because otherwise I have to reset again. <laughs> oh, no, I did. Crap. Yeah, so now I'm pretty sure you can't like do the skip really. Oh wait. What? I thought it was like a kill box there before. What the heck? Oh, what? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I am so confused right now. The skip is uh not being uh these strats eh. No, okay, so yeah we can't we can't land there, it seems like, so Go back again. Silly game. Doing things I've never seen before. Unironically. That's a marathon. Uh huh. Yeah, please come here. Normally, I wouldn't care you setting me up, mate, for clever rat, but manners can shoot me. That's really annoying. Actually, put on thief ring. I don't get shot by manners as I do this. Even safe. Yeah, I don't know if you've been receiving them, but there's like mana rays that I can shoot you. Like that one. Okay, it's a spooky. Oh, well, oh, oh. I had it and then I just fell. <laughs> I think I'm... So if you actually fall down there, like all the way down, and don't quit out fast enough, you can die. So, good thing I'm saving these at least. And not keep messing it up. So I've never run these for too long. <laughs> I'd like to make that clear. At least not the, the 1.0 version of this. So there's definitely something I still need to work on or practice, but... Usually it's not this bad for, for this skip, so it's silly. Oh my goodness. Yep, so there you go. That's what that happens if you just fall down. I 
And unfortunately, I can't really blame the cold. It's not too it's cold today, <laughs> like Carl was earlier. Because that is legitimately an issue. You know, it's too cold, and your hands are just cold. Hard to, like, manifest. for a couple donations? Uh, yeah, sure. I have $50 from Cloud7470. <laughs> says, go, Birdo, go for the kids. Thank you, Cloud. And then $10 from Anonymous saying, getting them donos going again. Indeed. Make sure to vote That's for it. one of the endings. Off the bone, whatever you like to see. Still looking like the good ending, but it's pretty neck and neck. You can Ooh. still uh, make a difference there. You can also know what time we're on right now for the timer. So I can have a reference. The stream says 48.39, but I know it's uh, sometimes a little bit off. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Good night. Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. Of course, the stream is delayed from you also, so when people hear me say that, it's not yeah, gonna no. have time, but... Yeah, it's okay. okay. Back here, um... Let's first try this, okay? Let's go. Let's do this. Easy. First try. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> the number memes? Cool. That should be good. Lovely. Okay, we did it. Cool, finally down here. So now one last little heart hurdle here. Please don't mess with me. Okay, great. All right, amazing. Okay. Let me switch my rings out. Start sharpness, clever. Okay. So I do need a set clever ring range here. So I'd need to take one of this down. Let's hit. Oh, that's really close. Okay. Careful. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many close to me? <laughs> Normally I wouldn't mind it like the original game because I'm a lot more confident in that one, but this one is... Uh... <laughs> you guys can't even some space? Okay. We clear most of the close ones. Near me, right? Okay. Two for one. Yeah, something you get two is pretty good. Okay, now this last one. Cool. Did he already come in though? Oh crap! A lot closer than I thought it was. This is what happens when you have them all really close to you. That's actually kind of fast though. Best fight. That's cool. I prefer a safer fight rather than fast, but whatever. Oh, that's close. Okay. Now just destroy this guy! Rearrange a little bit. Easy fight. Okay. Now, if only I could have done that for my PBs yesterday, that would have been fantastic. <laughs> but that was my bad. I was actually trying something new that I shouldn't have done without practice. But yeah, now we got our final stretch. We got the last. Oops. Wrong level. We got the last uh, couple bosses. That's three bosses before the end of the run. I'll work to the wrong level, though. Or wrong specific area. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty decent at these bit. Well, I, I was also decent at the other bit, the uh, Shrine of Storms, where I was, but... Memes happen. Sometimes. Dwarf just a fast yep. SSD power! Uh, don't roast me, please. Why? Are you already here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit out. <laughs> Hold on. That was a little weird. Sometimes the giant can be a little bit ahead of you or like a little different than it should be. That was one of those instances. Oh, I don't know if this is good. This may have been. We won't die or anything, but. Oh no, we're okay. That's fine. We're good. Okay, now we're going to equip. Keep fine. Someone who's gonna snipe us late. Oh! Damn, you're really fast. Really fast, dragon? Royal tendency. Okay. 
Okay. Now we got one of the poster childs of this game as well. One of the others. Tower Knight. But fortunately for him, we got Radio P Magic. We're gonna go down real quick. Oh, that didn't hit where I was supposed to. There you go. Right in the butt. Amazing. There's Star Stone, so I can actually continue and then go in here. Um, and now I think here we can have a couple of donations as well. Have you got some? Sure. We have ten dollars from Ashwin, who says, "Please don't give me a heart attack with Alantbert Alantbert. <laughs> My heart is still recovering. Hope to see you do this at a big event this year." Yeah, it is. I, I saw it firsthand. <laughs> yeah, so. Ashwin was my co-commentator for my GDQ run for this, or for the original and SGDQ uh, last year. And she saw me do a lot of weird things with King a lot in the original game. Fortunately for you though, I'm gonna have full HP. So, it'll be okay. Because <laughs> yeah, Alon's very scary for sure. We have another ten dollars from Heads Hod, who says, "Just first try it, forehead." Let's do it. Thank you. Get a roll of this boulder, similar to the other one, but just less space to do so cleanly, unfortunately. But it's okay. We're all good. Then, buggy. There's a lot of little enemies. There's actually one of the skips that got patched here that's kind of gone now entirely because it, for some reason. One of the skips in this level was not in the 1.0 version of the game. It was like introduced after a patch. We're not sure exactly which one. I assume just 1.01 or something, but... And not doing 1.0, it's just gone. Lost the time. Unless if anyone has like a... Like their PS3 or PS5 in a... 1.03 or 2. Very sad, it was, it was cool. It, you, you basically skipped where I just was a little bit ago. Or no, here. You skip... This is on top of the gate, you just skip here. That's awesome, but... It's gone. Although I actually have an idea of a way to maybe skip it again. But I need, I, I need to go glitch hunting. I know it's not like glitch hunter, but maybe I can... I thought of something that... I don't know if it has been tried. I shall search... soon. Hey, China PS5? Yeah. I would say I hope someone that like, gets interested in this run after watching this, but... These guys aren't easy to come by these days. Not yet. Unfortunately. I got very lucky in my purchase. I, I, this was, it was pure luck. I didn't even, like... Only try for, like, two nights. Two days. And I was lucky. Okay, one of the best boss names in the series. But it's gonna go down pretty quick as well. It's magic. Demon Souls. Easy spy. Okay, and then I promised that I would do full HP so I guess I'll just keep it from here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna work back to put pure tendency, to have pure tendency world pure white world tendency. And in this case we'll I usually set up HP here at these little guys, the archers, but let's just fight the last guy with um full HP. For safety. He's not as bad as he was in like the original game. Like the fastest uh, route for the original Demon Souls was a melee route, and Alant in melee is so scary. Magic is not nearly as bad, but it still can go bad, so... They should put it in the game, they should. I guess I could use Water Veil for seed. I might survive anything. Maybe. Okay, so this dragon, we just kind of have to path correctly. We have to, like, delay her, her run a little bit. We can actually get by it fairly easily. It's not too hard, actually, once you get it down. The, the hard part is actually more so the little guys in between the bridge, those guys. The fat officials are called. Those guys are really rough to run by because they can just snipe you from the back with fireballs. Yeah, so if you just do stamina magic, fine, you're good. I'm gonna hit this guy just or just you know, get him to Oh pfft. I didn't really realize I was gonna hit. Don't 
You can definitely join in the in the, in the room here. <laughs> I've had it happen. It's it's not pleasant, especially when you're clever at in range. Oh, well, actually, I meant to get more fresh pies, but it's fine. Anyway, so yes, close. Yeah, you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so yeah, now we're in our last boss. Um, I guess I don't need this. Yeah, just keep keeping, why not? Um, this is a nice moment to just relax before the fight. It's definitely one of those stressful bits. So, just a moment to 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 either build up anxiety or to relax. <laughs> one of the two, or both. And the remake, not yet. Not yet. Say hi to one of my least favorite bosses in the speedrun. False King Alant. But the last boss we got before the end, more or less. What are you doing? Why are you walking? Okay, that's good. That's also good. I'm doing that for a little bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's giving me a good sign. Gee, that, this boss would have been over already if, uh, if I was a clever at. Ah! Okay, that didn't happen. We can't prove it did. Yeah, let's, uh. <laughs> I said, oh, I thought you know. <laughs> I broke my promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Why'd you stop? Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, <laughs> we did it. That was a close one, but we did it. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, uh, we can now call the end, uh, the bit war for the ending. This is, it. this is it. We are looking for the good ending. E. Okay. I'm going to like actively remember, remind myself to not hit the maiden, because <laughs> muscle memory. I'm gonna take this off. Good ending. Heart. I know, I'm sorry, chat. Give you a heart attack. Trust me, no one was more scared than I was. Okay, so this is a true final boss, but as you're gonna see, it, he's not... He's not that much of a threat. Which is obviously the point. Don't go out being like, oh my god, Demon Souls, look at this last boss. It's a joke. No, it's a point. Come on. I said <laughs> Yeah, we're doing good ending. Let me take away all my weapons. So now wait for the maiden to come here and uh what are you doing, game? Thank you. Skip this cutscene, but now we just turn back and uh let her do her job. Okay, I'm gonna call time in a second. And time. Cool, I haven't seen this cutscene in ages. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, so if you want to know what's happening, this old one was the originator of the demons, basically. But it, 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 it's arguable if it's even really a bad force. Like, it's not necessarily a force of evil. But either way, you gotta put it to sleep so it can stop bringing demons. So now it's going back. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. The brave new we have a donation from Hutch for seven dollars and seventy-seven cents, saying Birdo please has us all captivated here at the Magfast House, loving the run. Thank you, Hutch. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, obviously I had some kinks, but I'm pretty sure we're underestimate. <laughs> what was the final time? Very decent amount, at least. Alright, GG. Yeah, that, that was it. Um, so yeah, that was Demon Souls Remake Speedrun. Any percent? 1.0. Let me quickly just point out the cat. It's the cat that was taken out from the actual game. Uh, I think it's the next scene. Uh, I 
thing after this one? Actually. Oh, what? It's later than I thought. Or maybe they're randomized. I don't think they're randomized, actually, but... Where's the cat? Show cat. I suppose that later. Wait, is it not 1.0? No way. Wait, I think I think it should have shown already. Is it gone? Oh, there it is! No, it's right there. Okay, there you go. There it is. <laughs> On the left. <laughs> There's a cat. So that's the original cat icon for the cat ring in um, the original Demon Souls. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so what was the final time and how much time we got left so I can maybe do like an extra thing or two if necessary? Any last uh, shout outs or anything, Birdo? No, are we over time here? Closely on time or for my shift? We had a couple minutes, but we're about ready to go uh, to our break if you're all set. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, oh, that's good then. Um,. Yeah, uh, well, thank you for coming, thank you for watching this, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm personally, usually do speedruns on Mondays and Fridays these days, so if you want to catch more of my PD attempts, uh, you know, catch me there on Monday, and maybe later on Friday. Um, I am currently grinding for a sub, or uh, for a time faster than my 1.03 speedrun, which is definitely the fastest, um, skips-wise and all that. But a sub 40 should be possible, and I should hopefully get it soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me, MagFest. It was, it was fun. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the marathon. That was a great run from Birdo. Please check him out on Twitch. Uh, up next in a few minutes here, we're going to be looking at... Uh, we're looking at Cosmic Smash run by My O oh Mike. Um, here in about... 10 or 12 minutes after that super mario 64 and sonic r just be sure to check out those donation incentives for tomorrow's hollow night run this is also going to be your last chance to vote on the best pizza topping whether it's pineapple or not pineapple well pineapple <laughs> myself See you guys, MacFest. Bye-bye. Stay hydrated.